So these simple things right here is what all men have to understand. And this is something and somewhere where we've all been before. I didn't think this way over the age of about 21, 22 years old. But the crazy thing is, there are still men today, 30, 40, even some in their 50s, who still think this way. I'm this guy who has this and this, that and that, these things going for me, I'm tall to a degree, I'm successful and all this bullshit. Which is good. She knows you're good as well. But that does not dent the fact that she's gonna put your life through hell, through twists and turns, leaps and bounds, alleyways, and a whole bunch of crazy shit. Because you are those things. This is what so many men are clueless on. If she plays games, I'm done, bro, and all this stuff. Well, if you don't stick it through, yeah, it's gonna be done. You as a man have to learn how to have some patience while dealing with some of these females today. Don't be so urgent to get something going. If stuff feels like it's coming to an end, it might only be the beginning. And if you end up with somebody else in the process, then that's also good. Because if that other girl you were dealing with comes out and starts saying some stuff that you're with someone else or you broke her heart or whatever, guess what? She was giving you a hard time regardless. She might not do this to the next guy. So I'm going to tell you guys something right now. This is something men are clueless on. And you as a man have to start doing what's best for you. Because guess what? These women are too. These women are too. If you knew the shit she was doing, bro, you'd probably stop talking to her. <laughs> and for some of you guys, if, if some women knew what you were doing, they'd probably stop, start, start, stop talking to you as well. When women find out sometimes who you're talking to, which could be one of their friends, because this has happened to me recently, Watch how they react. Yeah, it ain't going to be pretty. Because she really liked you, even though she was playing games, she really liked you. But if she finds out you were talking to one of her friends, which was a part of your game, because she started playing her game, which I don't really recommend doing this <laughs> to see what has happened. It's a lot for a woman to handle, let me tell you that, but... It's a good way to get in her head. It's a good way to get in her head. And, uh, yeah, this is what most men are clueless about. The fact that you think you have this and that going on. You're such a great pick, high value, whatever else you want to say. You think automatically these women are just going to come into your life and make it easy and it's not the truth. You might get a lot of eyeballs. You might get a lot of potential options. It's a lot different than actually having every single one of these high value options as these women that give you a certain look than actually having them in your presence, getting somewhere with them without them playing any games because the games is going to go down, bro. The games is gonna go down. And you have to weigh out your options like, I don't think every female is worthy of the games. I don't. There's the odd one where it's like, this might be worth sticking around for. This might be worth it, you know, because she's, she's going to do her shit, bro. You guys have to understand how they think as well. Like, this is what men are clueless about. If you're a good option, you scare the fuck out of her. You do. Because of what could potentially happen. If she just lets herself open up to you. Oh, he's such a great option. Let me just start to see him. Let me start to love him. 
Let me start to spend time with him and talk to him all the time with no games. Let me just do this. When you're a good option, bro, she knows this. She knows you're good looking. She knows you're successful. She knows you pretty much check off every box. She knows you're a, a high value dude. She knows this. They don't not know this. They know this. And it scares them because if they were to just give themselves to you and submit, if they were to do this and they're to get attached and you're talking to other females or you pick somebody over her and just kick her away, this breaks women's spirit more than you guys would ever understand. More than you guys would ever understand this breaks a woman's spirit. Quite literally. They can't handle it, bro. They literally can't handle it. Like something even just recently happened. Like, I think I just mentioned this in a video yesterday to be honest, but I, I was started to talk to some new girl at the gym. And we're talking smoke, bro. We're talking smoke show, hot blonde. Literally, you guys have no idea. You guys might think in your head, oh, she's probably pretty, no bro, she's seriously, <laughs> She's good. She's very good. Exchange Instagrams, Snapchats, shit like that. Started talking for a very short bit and she veered off fast. Just starts like, it's like, okay, she seems to kind of like me. And then all of a sudden, boom, gone. Just gone. They do this, bro. They don't do this because, oh, never mind, I don't like this guy. No. What is he going to do whenever I do this? And then you post a good post on social media, which I've done recently. Everybody go follow me on IG. Same username as this. Then they see that. They see you shine even more. They might unfollow you or something, bro. In hopes you see it. In hopes to get further in your head. Because of what you just did. To possibly attract more options. In their minds is what they think. And a day after that, this same girl, and I knew she unfollowed me. I, I did realize I did see that shit. This same girl who does all this talks to one of my friends in the gym. He has a girl of, of his self, and this girl is friends with this girl, so they're, those three are talking. She's asking my friend questions about me, asking how I am, asking a bunch of questions. Has high interest in me. She wants me to talk to her. I was going to do it tonight, but she wasn't at the gym. But my friend was like, oh, go and talk to him. She's like, no, I'm shy. Like, bro, you guys have to understand this shit, bro. That's the whole point of this video. Women are shy. Women are scared. When you're a dude of high caliber, bro, you scare females. When I say high caliber, you just check off a lot of boxes. You're good in pretty much every area. Like, you're not average. You're, you're, you're above average. You, you, you have shit going. They're not gonna make it easy. They're tripping balls, bro. More than they have to. It's just their emotions. It's just how they feel. And this is what most men are clueless about. Because you don't understand how she's thinking or feeling. What men think is, oh, I'm good. Uh, I'm a good option. How? Why is she playing games with me? She shouldn't play no games. I ain't going to play these games. You have to, bro. You don't have to literally participate necessarily. You just have to take what she's dishing out sometimes. You have to deal with a negative vibe sometimes. If you think you're going to get a wife and she never gives you a negative vibe in the household, <laughs> you, you got to be kidding me. I think we all know what living with a woman comes with, at least to a, a small degree or a large degree. 
because we've all had we've all had mothers. Most of us ha has had a mother we live with for an extended period of time. Most of us. Like, women are women, bro. They're gonna do some crazy shit sometimes to get attention out of left field. You could be chilling, and she's gonna try to do everything in her power to get in your head while you're in the same house, cause she's bored. Because she can sense you're having a better time than she is. Women hate that, bro. There's something about it that women just hate. <laughs> they're not us, man. <laughs> Plain and simple, they're just not us. You're going to make dates with females. They're not going to show up. How is he going to react when I do this? I don't feel like showing up. I'm nervous. She's not going to tell you those things. But that's what's going to happen. And it's literally your job to not panic, not freak out, not overextend, not overreact, not freak out at her. Just keep being who you are. It's funny how if you do the same things back to them, they literally cannot take it. They're going to make you feel some type of way inside. They are. There's nothing you can do about how they make you feel like shit sometimes. Like, bro, if you make if you make plans with a female and they just don't show up or a few hours b beforehand they just make up an excuse and not do it. You're not going to yeah, okay. You're not going to be happy about it. You're going to feel a little something. But you have to channel that shit. You have to deal with what just happened. Okay. And keep, keep, keep carrying on. That's all you can do. It's literally the best move. You have to take women shit sometimes. Like you just do. And some women aren't worthy of it. Some women, you're not gonna, you, you don't want to. But there's some, bro, it might be worth sticking around for. Some of them. Some of them. But it's up to yourself. If you feel like she's not worth it, I say get out of there. If you feel like something... Uh, I think something can be good here. Then you should probably do it. You should probably do it. But like I was saying, guys, like... This is what majority of men are clueless on. The smallest thing is just... We've all been there too. We were all young before. The small things would break and bend our minds and just piss us off. And we'd go off into a rage because it's not fair. This is BS. She's acting this way. What is going on? But now, bro, I've been dealing with one for three months now. And it's there's something scheduled here within a week and a half-ish. I don't know if it's going to go through. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like it could, but a lot of things seem like it's going to happen and it doesn't. So you don't know, but... Majority of men have to understand it is not your fault. Like, it, there's nothing you can do. It is not your fault. There's not something you've done that made her do that. She's making her own decisions based off her emotion. And if her emotion is just telling her not to do it because she feels overwhelmed when the moment's coming, she's not going to do it. Because if she was to do it, she's going to get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the situation of actually hanging out. And she can't handle those the, the, the nervous energy. We can feel a little bit nervous about something. It's normal to feel a little bit of something if a moment's coming, you've never seen a girl in your life and you're about to hang out with her, you're gonna feel a little bit nervous, but we can manage it better. We can feel it and get comfortable pretty quick. I can do it extremely well. Some guys, everyone's different, but if we have a good opportunity, most guys ain't gonna back out. Most guys ain't gonna flake. But women, they're notorious for doing it. Because of the moment, things have also changed. Bro, 
when I was in high school, bro, 16, 17 years old when I first got my license, I was driving 30, 35 minutes to pick up a girl and we, were t we weren't officially in a relationship, this one that I'm thinking of and talking about, but we were kind of dating. I would pick her up right at her parents' place. Sometimes her parents will come outside, come up to my vehicle and start talking to me and I talk to them just normally. Like this shit was more normal back in the day. Now it's like, bro, everyone's sketching balls. This girl sat in my car, no problem. We weren't on our phones like this driving around. Phones was literally down. And like, we didn't even use our phones much. Instagram wasn't huge then. Snapchat didn't even exist then. It was pretty much text and Facebook at that time. Like facts, that's what it was at this time. And we made it happen, no problem. But bro, people have gotten extremely self-conscious today, more than they should be. The games have amplified, insecurities have amplified. All this shit is done based off of insecurity in females. They're always thinking worst case scenarios all the time. And this is what we have today, bro. Like, it does suck. There was even a few females in the past, bro, that I have talked to and like things could have worked out. Like, I don't doubt it. There were some good ones that have came my way, even in the past five years. They ruin shit. And I had enough, like, bro, you can only take so much as well. Like, things can, go, things can only go on for so long. There can only be so many games. Even this female, I'm, like, I might be seeing in the next week and a half-ish. If something don't happen soon, like, the, the, there comes a time where it's like there's nothing more to talk about. There's literally not one other thing to talk about. That's how a few situationships that I was in ended because there was nothing more to talk about. Like there was literally nothing else. And all these girls did the exact same thing. They asked me to hang out first because I wanted to give them time to get comfortable because I knew they weren't comfortable. If I knew they were comfortable and confident, I would ask a lot sooner, which I've done before. I could tell these girls, bro, <laughs> They're not so comfortable. They're not so confident. Let's just talk to them, give them time. Let them get used to me a little bit. And they would spit the words first. Oh, we should get together sometime. We should go to the beach. We should hang out and all this shit. Of course. Of course. And then nothing happens for the next week-ish, up to two weeks, week and a half-ish. And then you start to set an actual date and an actual plan. Then the excuses come. And then the day and then you say something again and the plan gets made and they flake. And then it's all this bullshit and it's like and time keeps going on and you get to the point where you lose interest yourself. Because there's nothing else to talk about over text. There's literally nothing else. You have to see the person to even get to know them better, to even continue texting them in the first place. Cause there's nothing else. And a few got ruined in this exact scenario that I'm talking about right now. And we're looking to possibly another one. Same scenario, same thing. Because their insecurities are through the roof as good looking as they are. So ain't you. And that scares the hell out of them. It scares the hell of them that there's a guy with extreme value right in front of them. And who else is he talking to? Is he going to even like me? Is he going to see, like, bro, there's so many things. What's going on in my eye? Oh, my God. There's so many, like, scenarios. There's so many different things that run through their mind during these times. Like, <laughs> are you even going to like her? Are you even going to want to see her again? Are you going to break her heart? Are you going to discourage her? Are you talking to something like, bro, that's what I'm saying, man. This shit used to not happen. It used to not happen. Girls used to be more confident than they are today. They just, 
they just post on social media pretty pictures and stuff and act confident, but they're very unconfident. They used to be far more confident, bro. They will deal with you. They will talk to you. They like you. They don't care to hide it. It's pretty out there. But nowadays, bro, some of the prettier girls you see, that's the way it be. And it's ridiculous. But this is the shit you're going to have to deal with when talking to most modern women today. Seriously, bro. Especially the better ones, which is crazy. You think they would have the self-esteem. They're confident in who they are. They're confident in their looks. Until you find out they're not. They're still scared. They're still paranoid. Something's going to happen. Something bad's going to happen is it, 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 the way they think. Worst case scenarios. And it's going to make your life difficult, but there's some that's actually... I have to admit there's some that's worth sticking it through just to see because you want to see. Sometimes you might have to give them a half a year. I, I had to do it before and things didn't turn out the way I'd like it to. And when I was 20-ish at that time, it did piss me off. A little bit. A little bit. It makes you not want to waste time. Because men, what do men want? ROIs, return on investments. If you're dealing with a female, bro, you want an ROI, a return on the investment, which is you giving her your time, your care, your attention, your energy. <laughs> Are you just talking to her to talk to her? No. No. You would prefer to get shit going with this girl to see what's going to happen. But nowadays, women don't mind wasting months and shit still might not happen. This is the world we're in. A lot of the time, bro, you're not going get to get her on a date quick. You're not going to do it. You're not going to get her on a date quick. What does she think when you're trying to get her quick? Oh, he's just trying to smash. All these insecurities, all these false beliefs that women think and feel today. They feel that way. I feel he's just trying to smash. That's what I feel. He's just trying to do it. He's just trying to hang on me too fast. It's all these excuses. But anyways, men have to do a better job today. Of, you have to stop believing the wrong things about certain situations and scenarios. Women have to do a better job of not tripping the fuck out. And give it like, if you don't, if you, if a guy does want to just smash, you can stop him, you know that, right? If you go over, you can stop him. You don't have to do that. You can simply say no. Most of the time, that's not even the case. But they think that way. Don't go over to his house. Go and do something somewhere else. How's he going to smash you on, on a boardwalk? On a public boardwalk in broad daylight on a beach? Excuses, bro. Excuses with the modern woman of all their insecurities. Men, most of the time, it's not your fault. Most of the time, it is not your fault. Literally 99% of the time today, it is not your fault. And to be quite honest, it's not women's fault either of how they feel. It's just they have to stop believing in their, in, in their feelings so much and the things they sense and the things they feel and all this bullshit that's what you have to stop doing start thinking a little bit more logically if you can if you're if it's even possible <sighs> but anyways guys that's the video and i hope you guys enjoyed this take stay safe keep your head on straight and understand guys most of the time when you're dealing with these chicks in these certain scenarios it is not your fault there's nothing more you could have done there's nothing less you could have done it's just you're doing you you're doing everything you can there's nothing more you could have possibly done there's not a better line you could have said to make things better literally nothing
sometimes. And it's the case in a lot of scenarios today from, from what I've experienced myself and from what I see a lot of other guys going through as well. That's it.